you can see Pharrell Lord. He's got a six item build. Actually, he, not quite. He's going to go for Leandris possibly in there. Oh, here comes the ultimate. It's going to be alternate possibly starting it off. We're going to see the teleport though. They're going in towards Pharrell Lord. They're going to put a lot of damage down on towards it. Power away back brave. on towards Extermin. It is very, very brave. It's going to be Aaron Oye that's going to pay for it with his life. He goes down. There's going to be ultimate. It's a great ultimate. J Ring gets caught down. Yes. This shot by catches all five members of Giants there. Beautifully done. Jim Bones gets dropped. He's going to respawn. He's going to turn back around. He's firing off the arrow. It's just like you can. For Eleanor picks up the double kill. He's still in this one. He's going to turn it back around. It's a triple kill for Eleanor. Samux now is going to have Creator coming in. Another ball goes in. Will he be able to take it down? Creator picks up the kill. And that was a four for three to alternate. Unbelievable. A five man shockwave absolutely shocks and devastates Giants to their foundations. The damage that came out was legitimately over 9,000. And we said it before, and I'll say it again. Go if a shockwave hits... Go turret on the left. What are you doing? Ask the minions will get it. Don't worry. If a <sighs> shockwave hits everybody on Giants, Alternate will win the team fights. It is that simple. And They're you've seen barren. it happening. They're going Baron. They are going Baron. And you can see Kraton on the front lord. They're going to double the Baron up. Of course, Kraton with that lifesteal. Is it going to be enough? They're going to have to dual tank this one. For Lord has got the ball for control. Is it going to be held up enough? Seven seconds now. RNA will be up. 15 seconds for Cup. I don't think they're going to be out delay enough for Cup, but they're definitely delaying it for Aaron Air. There he is. He responds. They get the Baron. They've got four members of Baron on. All of a sudden, that gold difference means absolute diddly squat. The Baron buff on four of their members is going to balance out any of those numbers that they had. And if Giants were playing cautiously before, sure as heck will they be playing cautiously now. They cannot run the risk of stacking up as five members. They caught Aranea and killed him so incredibly quickly. He followed with Paranoia and they simply chased into a narrow choke that they couldn't afford to chase. Pharrell Lord must have just thought all his Christmases had come up once. We've seen it already a number of times. You know, the fact that Alternate were given so many overpowered champions earlier on in the day, they were so happy with that one. Actually, I tell a lie, that was Samurai and Jeans. Samurai Jeans. Earlier on. It's been a lot of birthdays today and Christmases. So there is the destiny. Twisted Fate sees everybody. He's landed. Shockwave hits. Oh, Bang. there's Shockwave! And then straight away, look at that equalizer dropping down Extermin. He's going to come back out. Is he going to flash away? Will he get away from this one? We're going to see Kerb continuing on. He's going to go and get the speed up there from Pharrell Lord. Flashes through, but that's going to be paranoia. How deep is he going to go? He's going in towards Perpetta. He's going to catch on towards him. Will it be enough towards him? Yes, Perpetta will go down. Alternate are pushing on through. They've got number advantages that's a 60 second death timer you can see that jimbo's also was taken down in there exterminate on nothing it's they gonna be the him going down they're gonna keep on pushing through here alternate might be able to finish the game off alternate are pushing through there are five versus three they have the numbers they have the damage they need to get through the guardian age of savage the cordexter the hawklax on towards exterminate uses the sonius hourglass immediately because drops straight away it's gonna be alternate going through to the summer split of the lc Yes, they have done it. Giants didn't and with it for so, so long that Alternate have managed to work their way into it. We have a new team in the LCS, ladies and gentlemen. And Aaron Air falls to his feet for Pharrell Lord. The five-man shockwave, ladies and gentlemen. That is what did it. Ladies and gentlemen, the Giants are going home. Team Alternate have secured their spot in the summer split of the League of Legends Championship Series after fighting their way from the win losing so incredibly hard all of the bugs and problems and bouncing back from zero to your fifth team of the LCS is sitting on screen right now. Team Alternate, fantastic, well played, and my heart goes out to Giants. They had such a huge advantage in that game, just like the Alternate did in game two, but it did, wasn't to be, and they ran headlong into the Giant Ball. Wow, what a game, ladies and gentlemen. It took a long time to get there for sure, but it delivered in the end. We're going to go over to Joe Miller and Jason Kaplan to take us through that incredible, incredible five-man shockwave. And I think Demons nailed it there. <laughs> We're not going to analyze the entire game because, quite honestly, there was a big point in the middle where it was so incredibly tense. Neither team wanting to blow their chance for this one. Giants were ahead. Alternate, though. And let's just get into the replay, Jason. We don't need to talk too much about this game here. We want to see that shockwave again. I would love to show it once we get that on your screen. <laughs> we just go straight into it. I mean, we had 51 minutes of nothing. 50, well, okay, not of nothing. Well, not of nothing. Of Giants winning. 
and then just that. Uh, yeah, let's just get the repunish game. Let's just let it let it play. We don't, we don't need to talk about it, to be honest. You Eventually, see. we'll get it on your screen. We will, we will get it there soon. You can see alternate there. Uh, rightly happy. I mean, 0 2 down. Come back and win this one 3 2. They've been the comeback kings this weekend. Let's not forget, they were 1 0 down against Wizards. They got stomped in the, be in the best of three earlier on uh, in the weekend. Of course, that started on Friday, technically. Uh, but they managed to win two games in a row on that one. Then it turns around in this one, 0-2 behind, win three whole games in a row. Fantastic performance, and that is how you qualify for the LCS Summer Split in style. And so, what about that replay, Jason? I reckon that everyone is just about ready to see that shockwave again. That was I'm no ready. bear wave, that's for sure. I'm ready. We'll get on your screen and just show you. I mean, we'll, I'll talk in the very beginning, and then just let it play. Just let the audio play, because honestly, there's really no, not a lot of analysis to do. So let's get the replay on your screen. Okay, fine. Demi wants me to do a little bit of analysis. We'll do a little bit of it anyways. All right, so we see that Exterior is here towards the bottom side. He was pushing that lane up, and we're just sitting there watching, saying, just go, just go. Like, for the last 10 minutes of this game, any team could take Baron within about 15 seconds. They just were too hesitant to do it. So we're going to start the replay up a little bit, and we're going to see Frothor. He's going to get caught right here for a little... Actually, well, he does get away, but the whole point is that Aranea just gets dropped. He just gets destroyed in this in this fight as he goes in onto Exter. And even, actually, if you notice right there, he actually caught a cocoon coming in with his ultimate onto Exter. He, he stopped it somehow. I don't know if they're sure if that was on purpose, but we'll, we'll assume it is. So he goes into the backside, and you're going to see Arnea just drop. And Joe and I are just sitting there looking at each other like, wow, this, this is over. Like, Giants are going to win this game. And you see the back line. Like, there was a perfect ultimate coming out of Babette right there. It keeps them it zoned out of the entire thing. Slow it down. Oh, it's, it's coming. Oh, and here we go. They all group up. Boom. Look at that. And the Caught equalizer. The Rumble Ultimate, and they just tick down and down and down. And then you just see some amazing teamwork coming out of Ultimate in general, out of Brown Lord and Cretan, and even Kerp here, as they're just going to kite back and forth, just trying to keep them alive, trying to take them down one by one. Because keep in mind, four members of Giants are still up. You have Front, or, uh, Ultimate down to half health or less. And you're going to see Frontlord escape with like sub 100 health here as you see uh, Morden going onto him in the backside. And of course, Cretan, he just attacks him one by one. The, the command protect, the Zonias just keeps him alive. And they just keep going through the members. Just, just wow. Like that, we, we talked about the entire day how one Oriol ultimate, like you can, you can pretty much miss or you can miss or you can hit every single one, but miss one big one or miss every single one and hit one big one. And it can change the game completely. We've seen it with against Authorian Gambit. We saw it right there. It was it was certain defeat. Like that was a, a loss for alternate, but for Realmlord, the ELO King coming up big for his team. Coming up big, I think, is an understatement. Yes. He's like not single-handedly, of course, but that ultimate won that fight for them. Without that ultimate, if that would have been off the mark. Giants would have probably won this yep, game. They easily. would have won that fight. And we saw how long the spawn times were. If they'd have won that fight, they would have gone on and won the game straight away after it. So